Hi everyone, I'm Michael and today I have a guest here, it's Martin, my dear friend who is working mostly on banana cake pop and together we will explore how we can put banana cake pop into GraphQL servers in the Node ecosystem. Martin, you want to take it away? Yes, I am. Um... Michael, yeah, this is easy, right? Here you can see we can use the packages that we have created for that. There is a special package, NPM package for Express Middleware, right? Banana K Pop Express Middleware. And uh, this package has a bunch of receipts already. You just navigate to the bottom and you will find then how you can create a demo server, for example, here, GraphQL HTTP. GraphQL Yoga, Express GraphQL, and so on. In general, we create a very simple server, any one that you have, this is just for the demo, and then we just plug our middleware and it should work. Let's move on. Here I have prepared a demo where we will run these three receipts in one shot, right? Then we create a package, this is an empty package. We put our uh, dependency for the Express middleware. And then as we are running these three receipts, I am putting these other packages, but probably you just need one of them, right? Here I have copied the receipt for GraphQL Sugar. This is a demo server with a few lines. If you have it already, you don't need it, of course. And the only thing that we need to do is import the package and plug it in the right position. Let's start this server. I started the server, it's up and running. Let's open now this URL, but there we have BCP that run. And yes, we can see that it's up and running. We have connected, we have our greeting message there, and we can use it. Awesome. But we did more than this. Okay, we have received for HTTP also, GraphQL HTTP, similar setup. We have a demo server here on top and we just plug our middleware in the right position. We can just start it and we can execute. Same again and again for Express. Okay, all these servers are based on Express and the thing is like we just plug our middleware and we intercept the calls. And in that way we show uh, BCP in the right moment. Awesome, I have a question. So there is this CDN tag that you have there, mode CDN, what does it mean? Yes, the idea is like in development especially, we can use this mode CDN that then you are using the same version that you run when you are doing Eat Banana K-Pop. This is usually the last version that we have deployed. So whenever I hit the endpoint, then you will essentially grab the files from the CDN and pull them in and give them to me. Yes, exactly. We just uh, forward your calls to uh, that version. And in that way, every time that we update, you are getting the last and most updated version. Can I also like pin the version, like for a production environment where I want to have a tested version? Exactly. That is what will be recommended in the case that you want to have this in your enterprise version and you want to pin a specific version, right? Then you should disable this one, for example, and enable this one. All of this is in the documentation. And then you say, okay, now I am in the self-hosted way. And the thing that I need to do is just add the other packages that we have in Banana K-Pop. And you will find it here, Banana K-Pop ID. This is a version that get pinned in the a specific version. Usually every time that we deploy a new Banana K-Pop version, we generate this package. And in that way, you can pin to a specific version in your premise. There are still other options, like it's a mix in between. That is, okay, we could run the CDN version and still pin the version that we have published in the CDN. This is also in the documentation. Just go through and you will find everything there documented. So it's either I use the latest CDN. I could use a pinned version from the CDN or I will package all the resources of Banana K-Pop into my server and really host all the files myself. Yes, you have all these possibilities. Awesome. You can see here in the documentation, as I said before, go back, take a look, it's a few options. And here you have, for example, how to pin a version from the CDN. In that case, everybody will be using exactly this version. You can target, even if you host your version and you deploy in another endpoint, you can put it there and target your other endpoint. Or you can use the self-hosted way. We did use a GraphQL yoga server from the guild, right? Is it yes. also possible to put Banana Cake Pop in a server like Apollo? Yes, it is uh, totally doable. As long as these servers are Express compatible, then it's uh, very easy to pin, right? And uh, let's do it. For example, we just need to add the dependency for the Apollo server and create an Apollo server like we did in the other examples. For example, let's put that dependency, let's install it, let's create a server. Then I will create 
this new file. This is uh, directly coming from their documentation. It's an Express server using the Apollo Server Express. Here you have the definition for some example, like uh, querying for books. And here there is even a simple resolver. Now we can run this Apollo server. Here we can see that if we try to access localhost, that is where it is running the Apollo server, we get their ID or their uh, landing page served in this uh, URL, right? But we would like to plug here banana key pop. We need just a couple of lines like we did uh, before. The first thing is we need to import BCP like a dependency, and then we just need to plug it in the right place. And to plug it is no more than a few lines that we will add exactly in this point. We are more, more or less doing like in the other cases. Let's say we will start the server. If we start the server, here we can see that we have the books, the examples that we did, and we can query immediately for that. That was quick, Martin. It almost runs with every node server that we have out there, as long as it supports these middleware patterns, right? Yes, we need just these middleware patterns. We have created already these receipts, and we will continue to create more. That was great, Martin. And with that, we are actually at the end. If you want to help our project, please go to GitHub and give us a GitHub star. And with that, we are out. See you next time.